Hello everybody, this is Goji73 here with a showcase video. Normally this would be a normal review video, but I have a little something here that I thought I'd do for a friend of mine. Lately, this person had just made a custom figure for me, and it is, well, I wouldn't say the first of its kind, but the first custom of its kind, I believe. I could be wrong, and if I am, I apologize, but anyway, I'm making this short little video for this person because she worked hard to make it, and because she asked me to, so, yeah. To that person, I hope you like this, so, anyways, let's get started. Here is the figure that I got. Nash, the Pachimon. Now, for those of you who are wondering, wait a minute, why does this look like Agira all of a sudden from Ultra 7? Well, to be quite frank, just going to move this aside. It is Agira. To a degree. But it is also not. To a degree. But anyway, let's just get the, let's just get started. Um, the reason why it looks like Agira is because an Agira figure was used to make this custom, and what this custom is of is of the Pachimon Nash. Now, for those of you who are wondering what Pachimon is, back in the 60s and 70s, during the kaiju boom, a lot of merchandise was made to capitalize on the popularity of monster films at the time, as well as series like Godzilla, Gamera, and Ultraman, and all that. And during that time, a few art cards, as well as trading cards, were made at the time, and those cards were known as Pachimon. They were basically art cards of famous monsters, and they were redesigned by a studio named Yoko Pro, or, or the person is named Yoko Pro, but anyway, trading cards of monsters were taken, hacked up, and transformed to look like completely different monsters than what they are now, and an example of one of those monsters is what you're looking at right now. I'm just going to pull Nash over to the side here so I can show what the trading card Nash looks like in real life. So I'm going to pop it up right here. Now as you can see, Nash is actually one of two monsters. This card was created again by Yoko Pro along with many other monsters who were redesigned to look like different monsters altogether. And as you can see, Nash is one of two monsters that was made. One is Agira, and the other is Rigor from Ultra 7. And of the two, I figured I'd get Agira first because, quite frankly, I kind of like his design a little bit more than Rigor's, as well as because after looking at the poppy figure of Rigor, which, by the way, I should mention is really rare and I don't think is worth hacking up for a custom of... Uh, I decided to go with Agira instead because I actually saw one for really, really cheap at this year's G-Fest. And because my good friend who made this, who I shall reveal, is none other than Yao Yao 9, or Yao Lu. She is a huge fan of Pachimon, and because I saw an Agira for very cheap, I asked her to make a custom of Nash. Or at least one half of Nash, that is. But anyway, I asked her to make this because I like Dagira, and of the Pachimon that I have seen, a handful of them I did like, and one of them was Nash. So I asked her to make this, and she did. But anyway, that was a somewhat quick, somewhat uh, detailed oversight of the uh, Pachimon in general. So yeah, this Pachimon is basically that of a redesigned Agira. So that's pretty much it for Pachimon. If you want to look up more about the history of Pachimon, you could always Google it, or as I would suggest, you could always look up Yao Yao 9 and she can fill you in really quickly, or really detailed, depending on what you wish, and she will fill you in on anything you need to know about Pachimon. But anyway, let's get on to detail. Now, first off, I'm just going to say I'm not going to give this a rating, because if I did, it'd be an instant 10 out of 10 because it's a custom. But um, this is just to show off to you how Nash looks in comparison to how Agira originally looked. You can see Yao added these spikes on the back because, as you saw just moments ago, the card actually had spikes going down the back. Um, the main head horn is also replaced with two smaller horns to make it look kind of like a rhino, almost. But um, as well as 
you'll see that most of the body is spray painted white, but if you look really closely, there's actually somewhat of a tannish brown undertone, which I thought was really interesting, as well as the nails for the feet and the hands, which I thought was really cool. But anyway, that's it for detail. Just wanted to show it off real quick to show that, you know, it's not just the horns and the paint, but also the backside, which I thought was really nicely done. And so, on to articulation. Now, much like the original Agira figure, nothing has really changed. Both arms and legs rotate 360 degrees. I'm not going to do it all the way because I don't want to really, like, you know, scuff the paint or something like that. As well as the head would rotate 360 degrees. So, yeah, that's nice. And, of course, on to sizing. Now, I have quite a few figures out here, but just for the heck of it, I'm just going to pull out one I haven't pulled out before yet. At least I don't believe. Here is the 1974 Godzilla. And if you'll notice, much like the original Agira, I think this would scale up relatively well. I mean, I'm not sure how big Nash is supposed to be in comparison to any other monster, but, you know, for a uh, Agira custom, it looks good. But this is just to show off the sizing. And so that just about does it for this showcase. History, you can look up the history of Pachimon either on Google or by going through Yao Yao 9. She will explain anything that you need about it. Um, detailing for a custom is really, really nicely done. Very simple, but, you know... That makes it all the more easier to give it a very good rating. Not that I am rating, of course. Detail is pretty nice. Articulation, similar to Agira, so it's okay. Or, goodish. Sizing is alright. And so, yeah, that's just about does it for this review. Like I said, instant 10 out of 10 because it is a customized figure. And that just about does it. And before I end this little showcase, I just wanted to give a shout out to Yao Yao 9 again. Thank you once again for this great, great custom. Looks really, really nice, and while I'm not too familiar or versed with Pachimon, for my first Pachimon figure, I think he did a really good job on it. So, yeah. Go check out Yaya 9 people. She did a really good job, and yeah. Good friend. And so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this showcase.